Hey guys, so welcome to the JV's Nature Walk episode. And today, I'm going to show you some nice images of open field habitat and deer at Cromwell Valley Park. So sit back and enjoy this amazing video, and I'll get back to you soon. Hey guys, welcome to the JV's Nature Walk. I'm at Cromwell Valley Park. It's like 50, 50 something degrees outside. That's why I'm looking like this, I'll phone it up. Around eight o'clock, hoping to see some birds. I did see a hawk when I came out here, chasing me out. Songbirds, who I was a sharpie. So I hope to see more, more action. And today I'm gonna do a little bit more walking around the park and just seeing what I see, you know. But yeah, that, there's nothing major, you know. I just wanna come outside, and get some fresh air, be thankful I can come out to the park on my days off. If I see some guys, I will let you know. See you guys later. So this is one of the few first few images that I've taken. Um, is open field habitat at Cuomo Valley Park. So I was sitting here for a few minutes. I had a lot of success today. I really, I really love this gorgeous blue sky and nice open field habitat. I usually call these my hunting grounds because I usually use these type of habitats to get my wildlife photography images. And I decided to like photograph my, one of my favorite habitats I love to um, immerse myself in and just soak in the beauty around me. So yeah, I really love this image. I love the nice dry grass and the barren trees in the background, really beautiful. Really beautiful, majestic. So I'm gonna show you guys my first image of the deer. So there's the buck on the left and there's the doe on the lower right section of the image. You can see the doe hiding amongst the dry vegetation as she blends in. Then you have the, the amazing buck standing high and tall, being alert and a lot of his surroundings and in that lone where he's guard down he's acting like a sentinel for the um the doe there but yeah they were pretty chill like they allowed me to get really close to them and i was surprised like that i was inching close as you see more images you guys will see how close i got each time each image you see like it's closer than the original image. Yeah, this is my first time to ever um, photograph a buck. I, I photographed does before, but this is my first time to ever get a buck. This has been one of my, I would say, my dream images. Um, I wish I did get like a little, little closer, but I did get close enough because at the time I, um, I used my. 400, I mean 500 manual medial lens, and I just inch closer and closer. And it looked at me, then it looked away, and it looked at somebody else. And the moment it looked at another point or 
it didn't look in my direction. I just inch closer and closer, and I just snapped away. And it was a beautiful morning. It was around 8 a.m., actually 8 or 9 o'clock. And I just photographed the beautiful lighting on this deer. This, this is really good times. Hey guys, so welcome to the JV's Nature Walk. I'm still at Cuomo Valley Park. So far, I had a good morning. Um, just not too long ago, I was photographing a buck and a, a doe. It was my first time photographing a buck. Like, it was just right in this open field habitat right here. It's really amazing. Right down there, both the buck and doe were running across the field. And um, I was just sitting on this bench I'm sitting on right now. I saw them running across the field. I was like, you know what? So I gotta get those pictures. So I walked around this area this way. And I met them in the middle of the field. And um, I just kind of inched closer and closer, you know, closer to the buck. The, the doe was like sitting amongst the the tall grass so you can only see his head stick is her head sticking out and um the buck was of course you know staying alert looking every direction it looked at me and then someone else was walking behind it there's another trail behind the field like towards this way it, and that buck was mainly watching this this guy walking um on the trail and mainly because the deer wasn't that far away from that trail it was closer the guy was closer than i was even though i was walking closer to the deer i wasn't as close as the guy was walking so it was a nice experience i got some nice shots of the buck nice on um, dc images it's a nice symbol of fall time a symbol of autumn and um just not too long ago i actually got uh, a merlin circling. It wasn't one of the best images, but it was my first time seeing a Merlin. And you usually see Merlins around fall, you know, hawks migration and all. He was circling right over my head. So I got a few images of it as well. And I remember I saw the Merlin, I'm like, I took a few images. I was thinking about the show Merlin, the magician, you know. And I was just thinking about magic when I saw it, so it's like, you know. And that's basically what the message was today when I, at least when I saw the Maryland I was thinking about immersing myself in my magic um, magic be anything you know but yeah it, it felt like a magical morning I would say you know I just told the nature and the universe I'm open to anything you know and I get those nice shots you know the buck you know it's more to come like the days are over for me go into the forest now and see what I can get you know, go for there you know, just get what I can get I just want to share with you guys what I experienced and photographed this morning and that's it if I see anything else I'll let you guys know and I'll see you guys later in this image I got even closer than I previously was when I first noticed the buck I love how it, it turned its head around. There was a, uh, um, another hiker, and they were hiking around it. Um, he had a little dog, so I guess the, the buck was kind of really alert about the dog and the man walking. Because the deer, they weren't too far away from this trail that they just came from. And it was closer to the edge of the field that the deer was located. They were actually closer to the deer than I was. But the reason I approached it from a far away was because if I approached it from the way the deer was facing right now, the sun had been in my face, so I had to approach it where the lighting was best for me to photograph it. So yeah, and I had the right lens for the situation. This is one of my favorite, favorite images. To me, it looks very iconic with that nice, um, side profile and the, the racks on that antlers man really good
really photogenic and um it just reminds me of some of the um i guess this pose reminds me of some i don't know how to describe it i see some lot of corporate logos using deer and this pose reminds me of those corporate logos i guess even man himself is inspired by the deer and the way and how it looks and how it poses in certain ways so that's that's pretty cool to think about um it is like very iconic image in my opinion and the best time to really photograph deer in my opinion is either early in the morning or later in the afternoon um you mean you, you can see deer throughout the day it doesn't matter but in terms of lighting early in the morning late in the evening i love this one because i think i got a little closer than the previous image and i edit this one a little differently it's not as the lighting is not as intense but it's more um toned down but yes this is a beautiful image man and i love how tall the grass is like the, the grass is really tall man even i could hide in the, the, the grass but man i tell you i wasn't expecting this these deer just ran across the field and i was sitting on the bench i, I didn't know what was going to happen and this happened like within like maybe 10 minutes of me sitting on the bench and these guys just ran across the field and they stopped for some reason i guess they got tired or something uh, <clears throat> they probably ran away from another hiker this is one of my favorite images here. I love the ears flat out like that and the antlers. Nice, nice profile here. Um, I snap a lot of great images, man. One of my favorites by far. Um, as you see, I got even closer to this deer. Cause it went, it, but like I said, the deer didn't really, it wasn't that um, threatened by me because they allowed me to sit there with it long enough to even get these images. I, I snapped so many pictures, like, I, I probably could have gotten closer if I wanted to. But, of course, I can only get too close because my my lens, if, if, if I get too close to the subject, you will get, my lens will kind of, it will get out of focus. So I got to be at a certain distance to photograph and capture certain images. Um, but yeah, nice profile here. And this is my last image here. I got eye contact with the buck. The, even the antlers look completely different. Um, every time I think about the, the deer antlers, I, I think about trees. I think about antennas. I think about the tree video I did last week. You know, the, the trees or antennas of the deer. That's how they communicate to the heavens. That's how they receive higher contact from the universe so it's it, it connects the deer from the higher perspective to the lower perspective like, like i said as above so below as below so above and the deer clearly symbolizes that the law corresponds perfectly but i love these images man and i hope you guys enjoy them too guys enjoyed watching this video um, with the deer and the open fruit habits hat like comment share subscribe guys buy my books and my prints and in the links in the below description also donate um, support me in what I do and that's it guys this is one of my I would say one of my favorite um, videos I've done it was like everything just happened like how it's supposed to happen Nothing was planned, it just happened, and I got what I needed. Have a good guys. See you later. So guys, another thing I forgot to say, I'm going on vacation next week, so I will not be posting the video next week. So probably in a couple weeks I should post something. Alright guys, have a good week.